my YouTube channel today. I'm so excited because look what just came in the mail! Oh my gosh! I remember when she came out with these. I'm assuming starting off this video that everybody watching this is either a fan of Sarah's Day or a guest from Australia because she's Australian. Anyway, I'm just going to assume that a lot of people clicking are fans of Sarah's Day. Hey, this finally came in the mail. It is from Amazon. I want to give you guys the deets on it. I don't know if it's sold out yet. I know her first like American launch sold out before she could even say anything about it. So I went just to see if they were on Amazon to check the other day and they were restocking before she even said anything on her Instagram. I bought them. They weren't even supposed to come in till the 15th and I have Amazon Prime. So it was expected shipping was like the set the not 17th, the 19th. And then I got an email yesterday saying they were shipped out and then they came in the mail this morning. So I haven't tried any of them yet. Right off the bat, I will say I'm disappointed, but not with her, but with how Amazon packaged it because it came, my bottom came like this. It's really beaten up and it's like there was like a sticker here or something that was torn off. So it came really beaten up. I will say though, I don't think that the protein balls are beaten up in it. Like I think that would have been a lot more obvious. This is so cute. So all the ingredients are right here on the side. She has it all listed. She has something pretty funny on this on this side. I'll read it for you guys. It says prepare... <laughs> if I can speak. Prepare yourself, sissy. It's time to listen to your dot 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 balls. <gasps> I just want to, I want to say it in an Australian accent so bad. <laughs> Introducing my new nourishing protein balls, born to be real just like you. These babies are jam-packed with real healthy ingredients that will give you a sweet boost of energy and most importantly, taste absolutely delicious. So gal, <laughs> it's time to act confident. Hashtag act confident, no one will question you. <laughs> and snack right because Sezi is here delivering the goods. Finally, a sweet protein-packed paleo-friendly snack for on the go. Enjoy. I'm kind of bummed that I'm like going to the gym after I film this video. I'm not going to have one afterwards, especially now that I'm out of my protein balls. I figured I'd try one on camera for everybody. So here's my tip for number one. I don't know how many people have done a thing over here in the States, but I like how Tropica does, like they have an Australian and New Zealand like calorie count and they have an American calorie count because um, Australia and New Zealand, and I'm not sure about other countries, I've just been to Australia so I know that Australia does it this way, but they measure things like food in kilojoules and not calories, whereas in America we measure things as calories. And right now I can see that I'm assuming energy, if I remember correctly, is like calories, but this is all in kilojoules, so I guess I'd have to like convert it online to see what is what. Um, not that they're not healthy for you, I would just like kind of like to know, you know, because it, it doesn't measure up to be the same as what we would think here. It's just how it is. I haven't done one of these videos since like my last Tropica video, but I have the Tropica Lean Protein coming in salted caramel that I'm going to try for you guys too. I'm so excited about it. I'm trying to stay away from dairy products. I've cut out red meat completely. So Sezi really kind of like has put, I'm not going to lie, like she's inspired me to go on that path. So I started with the pea protein because I didn't even know if that was a thing in the States and I really value her opinion as like an influencer in the fitness industry. So I only now have the Australian lean protein stuff from Tropica. I haven't tried the boost protein, only lean protein. I'm trying to get lean, not like boost anything you know um so maybe there's some companies in the states that do pea protein because I don't like whey protein because it's dairy and I didn't know that at first and then there's other I don't know there's just like a lot of chemicals and other things and I just whey is like the main thing and it can be expensive in the states too so at the end of the day I'm probably paying around the same amount with the shipping and everything for the I'm sorry I'm looking at it again the Australian protein I don't know why I just trust it more I love that it's natural and vegan friendly and clean I'm assuming once again that a lot of people here are Australian if you've ever been to America American food compared to Australian it's like a lot worse so I already know like from my experiences coffee 10 times better in Australia chocolate 10 times better in Australia that's why I love loving earth chocolate so much so they are yep like she said paleo gluten-free, vegan, and what's the other one? It's real food. Oh, who know? I love the packaging though. This is so cool. I, I see this and I hear her whoosh. Like, when it comes up on the board, 
Um, so yeah, my only real complaints are how it was shipped to me from Amazon and then the kilojoule thing. Maybe, I know the health lab though, they're like an Australian company, like clearly this came from Australia, so assuming that all of this is going to be delivered to Australia, not necessarily America, it makes sense to have the kilojoules and not the calorie counts that we would have in America. So, there is five of them in here. They're Oh, snickerdoodle. Without further ado, mate. Wow. I'm sorry, guys. I'm thinking the same thing, sis. I'm thinking the same thing. Oh my gosh. Off the bat, it smells so good. I should have gotten two boxes already. Like, I already know. Oh, I'm getting coconut everywhere. I do wish there was more than five, but I understand, like, how expensive it probably is to make them, especially because these are being imported from Australia. Everybody knows how much I love Australia. Let's be real. Oh, it's like bigger than my eyeball. Taste testing now. Here we go. Mmm. Oh my gosh. This is so freaking good. Props to you, Sezzy. You did a really good job. Oh my gosh. I definitely get that. Okay. I'm surprised there's not like buckwheat like nibs in here. Because I know she put that in her other ones, but maybe they just couldn't do it. But these are really good. I would have this over like the complete cookie or something, I think any day. And it was $14.95 on Amazon, which I really don't think is that bad. Coming all the way from Australia, you get five protein balls. I know like in Australia, people were complaining because they were $12.95 plus shipping. And for me, because I have Amazon Prime, I didn't have to pay shipping. So $14.95 for this, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to finish it because that's how good it was. Not bad at all. I 10 out of 10 recommend. They have a Best Buy date on it, which is really nice. Yeah. These were really good. And now I want to savor them forever because who knows when another restock's going to happen. I don't know if they're sold out. If they're not sold out, I might go and buy another box, honestly. That's how good they are. 100%. They're that good. I took a really big bite. That's attractive, right? Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you want to make sure that you see my review for the Tropico Salted Caramel Lean Protein Powder, hit the subscribe button, give it a like, and then go check out my other video that I actually talk about the hype. Is it worth the hype? Which is probably what this is going to be titled anyway, because why not? I will see you guys in my next video. And don't forget, subscribe.